In a lot of ways, cooking is like music. Different elements combine to make a symphony. The difference is that Beethoven's fifth is going to be poop tomorrow. What was my one condition for allowing you to tag along? Try not to be a jerk. I'm trying. I'm just failing. Roll your meatballs and keep an open mind. How hard are you trying not to make a ball joke right now? They're smoking. For balls. Oh! No, no, no! They're browning way too fast. Blue's the color you gotta watch out for. Enough! Look out, they're, they're still raw inside. By the time they're cooked through, the outside will be burnt. I think there's a medicated powder for that. Although, vinegar could work. My O-Chem prof talked about theoretically you shouldn't trust the results of the hemoglobin A1C test on a chronically acidotic patient. The acid in the blood slows the reaction between the hemoglobin protein and blood sugar. Browning meat is the same chemical process, which means it should also be slowed by acid. That actually makes sense. You might have saved my balls. That's the spirit. Hi. I'm making gnocchi. Oh, I didn't mean to intrude. I just. Cecile's in my cooking class. She doesn't speak English. You bake the potatoes instead of boiling. It's less moisture, fewer gluten bonds, lighter gnocchi. You seem good. Feeling better. I need to talk to you about your leaving the hospital. I do love a good groveling, but my decision is final. That's fine. As long as I'm not the reason for it. I know that sounds completely narcissistic, but... Yeah. But it's not. We flirted, we kissed, I fondled. I hallucinated a night with you and yelled it from a hospital balcony. You're not a narcissist. So what am I? Not the reason I'm leaving. House. I'm gonna miss you. Lady, either kiss him or leave. We got work to do. You just couldn't keep your trap shut. Make the damn yogi. Bye. Great, you're up. I need a taster. Ragu with pork sausage, beef thigh, no cream. It's a little early. Did you even go to bed last night? Bed is for sissies. Unless you're having sex, in which case... Bed is still for sissies. Doesn't this seem a little bit obsessive? You should have been here when I was butchering the ox. What do you expect? I'm an addict. I turn everything up to 11. Yeah, I thought you were trying to tone that down. No, I was trying to find something I could set at 11 without blowing out my eardrums. Star anise with the caramelized onions, sulfur compounds bring out the meat flavor. I couldn't sleep because of my leg. Just either make ragu or go out on the street looking to score. Good choice. So, so good. You're early. For what? I know you'd show up here complaining about Foreman. I thought you'd hold out for another week at least. I showed up to ask if you've seen thrombocytosis with a platelet count. Under... I went crazy. That's stupid. I leave. Foreman embraces his inner Mugabe. That. Embryonale, unhatched chicken egg. I'm gonna suck out some of the yolk and replace it with ragu. By the way, you can tell the other lepers that their absence has been noted. Cameron didn't come by? Daddy's little codependent is all grown up, making room for daddy's hot bisexual with boyfriend problems. It's not a problem. It's, um. Okay, it's a problem. I mean, I get it. The patient's a nightmare. He posted his case online. It, 
You know Foreman, you know the situation. How can I get him to tone it down? Stop being a coward, for one thing. He's the one who's afraid of failure. And a job that no one before me has ever done. His fears are justified. You're just afraid of giving him control over you. It's my work at home. It makes it almost impossible for him to do his job. Pass me those crackers. You're saying this is all my fault? I'm saying that you would be happier if you learned when it's okay to give in. What? You just suggested that I give in so that I could be happy. What did they do to you in there? Taste this. Mm, of course. This might be the best thing I've ever eaten. And yes, I'm including what you're thinking of now. You're an amazing cook. I know. Yeah, my leg hurts. What's happening? I don't know. What's happening? <laughs> all the things start popping up in my head, like I'm 400 pounds. It's eight in the morning. Coffee ice cream. No frittata? No bombolini? Started thinking about what you said, about me obsessing. Started obsessing about obsessing. Decided to take a day off. You were enjoying cooking. How like a man to think that I enjoy slaving over a hot stove all day while you're off banging secretaries. You said it was keeping your mind off the pain. That was before I discovered the biggest loser marathon on cable. I like to pretend they could see me eating. And your leg? It's fine. I can just get you to have this one achievement. We can nurture that. My leg's killing me. Cooking helped for a while. I guess I got bored. My leg started hurting again. I got worried and that made the pain worse. What are you worried about? That nothing's gonna help. That I end up in the very dark place. I'm fine. Just not happy. I didn't let you out because you were happy. I let you out because I believe you had the skill to cope with that. You tried one thing, it didn't work, so move on. Write, play chess. What if nothing works? What if nothing gives me more than a few days before my brain starts looking for the next fix, before my leg feels like someone's shoving nails into it? What do I do then? If nothing in the world can hold your interest, uh, we'll deal with that when we get to it. But you have to trust me and you have to be patient.